بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله You see my dear brother, my dear sister Some of the early Salaf, they were able to count what they would say from one week to another week and they were able to recognize, they were able to know exactly what they've said throughout the week because they would ensure that they keep a record for every single thing that comes out of their mouth. Every single time you have an opportunity to speak, you don't have to speak. And that's why a poet says, قَدْ يُحْرِزُ الْوَرِعُ التَّقِيُّ لِسَانَهُ خَوْفَ الْكَلَامِ وَإِنَّهُ لَمُفَوَّهُ Maybe a person who happens to be wari', he happens to be scrupulous and righteous and pious. That person, maybe he may do what? He may stop his tongue from speaking, even though the person knows how to speak very fluently, even though the person is a very, very good speaker, but the person chooses not to speak. Why so? Well, because every single time you speak, you are held to account. And if you're able to manage this tongue of yours, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the path to Jannah easy for you. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, مَن يَضْمَن لِي مَا بَيْنَ لَحْيَيْهِ وَمَا بَيْنَ رِجْلَيْهِ أَضْمَنُ لَهُ الْجَنَّةِ Whoever is able to ensure that he will be able to protect whatever is between his two jawbones, i.e. the tongue, and whatever is between his two legs, i.e. the private part, I will ensure and guarantee for him that he will get a place in Jannah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us a place in Jannah and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the ability to be able to ensure our tongues and protect our tongues. Allahumma ameen and also to be able to protect our chastity and our gaze. Allahumma ameen ya Rabbi. You see my brother, my dear sister and my dear brother, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he spoke once of faith as a whole and he told us of a number of different concepts of faith. Then he said that should I not tell you of the greatest part of faith? Should I not tell you of the backbone of faith? Should I not tell you the, of the height of faith? And he mentioned a number of things. Then the Prophet ﷺ, after speaking at length about faith and after telling us of the Ra'sul Amr, the, the, the head of the matter, the, the most important aspect of the matter, the backbone of the matter of religion of course and the peak of religion after he told us of all these things now the Prophet ﷺ says now I'm going to give you the key of all of that Should I not tell you how you can manage all of this? Mu'adh said of course O Messenger of Allah So the Prophet ﷺ took his tongue and he said O Mu'adh Protect this tongue of yours. Stop this tongue of yours. Ensure that whatever comes out of your mouth, you have thought about it a lot. So Muhaz was shocked. He said, Ya Nabi Allah, wa inna la mu'akhaduna bima natakallamu bihi. And we're going to be questioned about what we say, O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Thakilat ka ummuka, ya Muhaz. He said, May your mother end up losing you, O Muhaz. Now, Pause here for a second. Your mother end up losing you? Doesn't that sound like the Prophet ﷺ is actually saying something negative? The answer is no, nay, and negative. Why is that? Well, the reality is that there are rhetorical instruments within every single language. Even within English, we have some rhetorical uh, instruments which are unusual, but they make sense within the context if you know the context. I'll give you an example. Someone tells you a news which is very shocking. So you say to him, get out. You're not trying to tell him literally get out of the room. You're trying to tell him that I'm really shocked at what you're saying. So similarly, when he says, ka ummuka, Ya Mu'adh, he's trying to say, Really? You don't know this old Mu'adh? Out of shock. And then he says, Will people be thrown face first in the hellfire except through what their tongues have earned? Meaning the earnings of the tongue will be one of the key factors that lead people to hellfire. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from entering the hellfire and protect us from being led to the hellfire and protect us from every action that leads to the hellfire. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the ability to act by the actions of the people of Jannah and to love the people of Jannah and to make us among the people of Jannah. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.